In this video, we are going to learn about theoretical and experimental coin tosses. First, let's learn the difference between theoretical and experimental probability. Theoretical probability is really what should happen. You use only math to figure it out, and it's what should happen in the long run. So for example, if you were to toss a coin, the probability that you get heads, the theoretical probability, is one half because there are two sides to the coin and you have an equal chance of getting each. So the probability of heads is one half and the probability of tails is one half. Now, experimental probability is something different. It relies on actually doing an experiment, so tossing a coin multiple times and seeing what happens. So you need data in order to figure out an experimental probability. So if we wanna figure out the experimental probability, that you will get heads when you toss a coin, we would actually need to toss a coin multiple times and see how many times did we get heads out of the total number of times we tossed the coin. Now, you can actually do that with a coin or your calculator has an interesting application that will simulate different probability situations. You get to it by pushing apps and then scrolling on your calculator until you see what says prob sim for probability simulator. So here we go. It says prob sim and click enter and it will open it up and then press any key. So I'll just click enter again. Now to toss coins, you push one and you get your screen. So you want to tell the calculator how many times to toss a coin and it will track how many times does it get tails and how many times does it get heads. So let's just toss the coin five times. So you go into set and push five and then click OK. Now you want it to actually do the toss. So click the button under toss, which is the window button. And it's tossing the coin. There we go. And we can see what happened. If you want to see the numbers that you actually got, click the arrow button there. So it says we got three tails and two heads. If you want to see this as a table as opposed to a graph, you can click the table button right there. But we got two heads. So the probability of heads in this experimental probability was two out of five, which is 0.4. One half, remember, is 0.5. So notice that the theoretical and experimental probabilities were different, although they were pretty close. What you should expect to happen is as you increase the number of trials, so we only tossed the coin five times. What if you tossed it 100 times or 1,000 times or a million times? As you increase that number, the experimental probability should get closer and closer to the theoretical probability. So I would expect as we increased the number of times we tossed this coin, that our probability for heads would get closer and closer to 0.5. So that's how you can use your calculator to simulate tossing a coin and a brief introduction to the difference between theoretical probability and experimental probability.